Zero. Greetings everyone, I'm RTR and welcome back to Countdown to Sparking Zero. Following up from last time, uh, last part we played Raging Blast 1, this time we're just going to play uh, the sequel, Raging Blast 2. Nothing to be said about that. This is the one I have a bit more experience with growing up. I didn't own this game, per se, but you know when you were a kid and since you didn't have access to like every game library unless you were uh, filthy rich, you would you would trade games with like your friends, like so if some of you people had one game, so if you didn't have another game, you would just be like, okay, I'll do a bit of a game trade, whether it be permanent or temporary. Uh, Raging Blast 2 was one of my game trades uh, back in the day, where I traded with Arian, who was previously on the series, you can go check that out the first um, six or eight parts, I think he was with us. It might be returning again, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, you know, hit wink wink, nudge nudge. But I uh, probably did the worst game trade imaginable, where I traded him Ultimate Tenkaichi, and he traded me a Raging Blast 2. <laughs> Which, <laughs> for those of you who have played Ultimate Tenkaichi, um, yeah, that certainly was a, a, the, the game trade of all time. But, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we unfortunately have to get there. But today, we're going to play Raging Blast 2. Uh, we'll do CP1 versus 1. You know how it is. We go very weak to very strong. You know, I'm, I'm hoping you guys know the deal by now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're like 18 parts in, 17 parts in. I don't even remember at this point. I'm losing track of time. But we are actually getting close to the end of the series. Because next week is the final week of Countdown to Sparking Zero. We only have a few uh, episodes left before the game comes out. So... I'm very, very much excited. I think at the time this video goes live, it'll be just over a week until the early access is allowed to be uh, got. So, yeah, I'm very much excited. Who are we going to play as today? Um, quite a very movie-centric in this game, I guess. They gave a lot of like the side characters in the movies, like Zangya and... Um, the cool armor squadron, which you know what? Because I just mentioned those two characters, we're gonna we're gonna start off with them too. So yeah, as we go into our first match here, like, like I said, this game is very. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, like I say these guess game loads way too fast uh, on the version I'm playing on. So there's no way you were to get those button combos off. Uh, probably the weakest like loading screen thing to do, but probably the most effective because it actually gets you like button mashing. Yeah, this is, this is more or less the exact same game as BT1. Uh, no, it's a Raging Blast 1. I've been doing that a lot in the recent parts, haven't I? Where I've just been wanting to say uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. So we have the standard controls, and then you, you flick uh, or press in the right analog stick to do your super moves. So we're on a... What's his name? Krauser? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I should know it from Dokkan, but... Uh, bit of a naughty lad that doesn't remember all that stuff. So yeah, not much. Like I said, this, not much has changed for Raging Blast 1. It is fundamentally the exact same game. Except uh, now... It looks slightly better. I haven't actually watched either of these movies in like, quite a while. I haven't watched a... Uh, cooler one or... Uh, Bojack in... Quite a while. Oh yeah, we now have the raging thing. So if you get up to a uh, max key for a brief moment, you can enter the raging mode, which is basically uh, like longer combos and the sky goes darker and the track changes. So I guess I'll show that off at the beginning. Oh yeah. Oh, I got a trophy. I hope a thousand trophies don't pop up. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to cut back when all these trophies stop popping up and then we'll get into the next fight. And we're back. That wasn't very long. So, who are we now? I know uh, you can get, like, enhanced... Yeah, so in this game, like most of the games, you can do, like, enhanced characters, so they have, like, Evolution Z equipped, so they uh, do better things. Ooh! I forgot they... This was after Yo Son Goku came out, which was the first time in a very, very, very long time that people actually had official Dragon Ball exposure. So, uh, Tarble was the uh, newest character, Vegeta's brother. <laughs> that was never talked about in any way. And then also we had um, ha ha Wait, I'll say for, I think I will play as him later on, but I guess we'll play Tarble versus... He's like a Vegeta enemy that we can just fight. 
Qui. We're still weak, so we'll have all the stick Qui, I guess. Why not? Yeah, I was like topple as a character. Just a very like for the one-off thing, it was very unique and pretty cool. I know Dokkan uh, had the villains as a lot, like the the purple and the blue guy, uh, the, the the blue and red and purple guy. There we go. Spray phrase it better. Yes, I do still. Yeah, I, I, uh, for any of you that were around for Yosan Goku and his friends for CERN, uh, let me know what you, uh, I thought that little special is, uh, very neat, I guess, uh, nice little special thing, because it, I mean, it also potentially revitalized Dragon Ball for New Age, because after that we got, uh, a couple of years later, we got Battle of Gods, and then after that we got Resurrection F and then Super Returned. But Dragon Ball Dragon Ball's just on a hiatus in terms of, like, actual material that wasn't uh, just games or just merchandise. That, well, that's what kept Dragon Ball just running through the mid-2000s. I guess Kai was a supplement as well. Like, Kai, I think Cell Saga Kai was releasing at the time as well. And, of course, it would be unofficial, but a lot of people, that's still their only exposure to Dragon Ball. Uh, a bridge was running as well. A bridge was popular in the mid-2000s, which is why I predominantly watched after I... Uh, finished Dragon Ball at the time, I jumped immediately into a bridge, and as good as it is, uh, definitely far from uh, epic material. Uh, a lot of people have yet to discover that. Alright, let's see if we can uh, pull off the raging mode. So it's when you charge up, you get a brief period where you can do this, and then you just, you just combo for longer, I think, or your combos do a little bit more damage. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you can do more interesting combos, but... Yeah, it, it was. Uh, I'm not. I'm not skilled enough to do that. And also, it was. It was pretty weak. All right, onto normal difficulty now. And I guess we will pick. I don't know. I have. You know, I don't think I've ever played it. Have I played as Freezer in one of these yet? I think. You know, I think I will for the sake of it. And then we'll do. We'll do Freezer and uh, Big Brother Cooler. I guess. There we go. Freezer and Cooler. Don't want to include anyone else. I don't think so, no. And we'll have him fight. We'll do Bardock. We'll do we'll do someone just random. Who we get? Pycon. Okay. Yeah. Two dead guys. Why not? Yeah, I don't think I've given Freezer much love this series, I don't think. I think Ariane did at the very beginning. But I think in terms of me, I don't think I'm trying to think of other games where I've even bothered to play. <laughs> I don't know how long Freeze had that so uninteresting line. I think he's like that's been a thing even in Xenoverse games where he just has oh, so uninteresting for so many reasons. Just never bothered to change the dialogue. It's probably got it in Sparking Zero as well, which uh, at the time now a lot of uh, I know I mentioned this last video, but a lot of uh, press release stuff has been out, and the game is practically just available to watch entirely online, which I have some issues with. Um, for all that being available, like, the entire point of, like, the marketing of this game was, like, the fan base discovering together what is in this game, and the fact that it's all just available for everyone to see is kind of stupid. Right, let's let's go perform. We'll see if we even need cooler by the end of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like you can like this is all made a post like you could like every single costume in the game is available to be seen online by right now through like the press release and early access stuff, which is pretty stupid. The fact that like you can see everything the game has to offer. I think a lot of the story mode stuff has been shown off, which that especially I, I was very excited for to look for. Thankfully, I haven't seen anything myself. So I haven't been spoiled on anything as yet, apart from like maybe like one or two costumes. Like I did, I saw the um, God Goku uh, whiskey outfit, which is not the biggest thing, thankfully. Oh, he's going into Sparky mode himself. Okay. Oh, thankfully I did manage to get this off though. He didn't block this. This might kill him. I don't know. The little movie does on free, uh, Krillin. He's gonna kill? No, it's not. Okay, well we'll see if we can. Uh, Finish this off then. The blow up his feet beneath him. There we go. By the way, I'm sorry for the um, 
compiling shader thing that appears in the bottom right. Uh, there's nothing I can really do to get rid of that. Let's see if they who, will he bother to intercept me. No, he won't. So you're gonna let Cooler come in. So yeah, I don't know. It, kinda, it does kind of suck, and I would uh, advise any of you that use Twitter um, to use the block feature and to just kind of be aware of what you're watching on YouTube and t TikTok and whatnot, so uh, to not get spoiled and that stuff. For uh, someone that doesn't use, use TikTok, I don't know if they have any block stuff on there, but just, just be advised when you, you're uh, patrolling the space, especially um, next week as well, when like people start to get the game through uh, more shady means. Put it that way. Oh, we got rid of Pycon's heart now. He's just a little bold dude. Oh, he managed to grab me. Fake me out. Mash the buttons to recover in this game to like spinning a stick. Uh, see if we can uh, switch to the, the, one of the coolest transformations for me as a kid. Like, it, I mean, we all know the reason why it's the, uh, it's this bit. Yeah, the little mouth guard formation. I've always thought that's pretty cool. A hyper tornado, pretty cool. He just dashes into everyone. Pycon not in Sparking Zero, um, not part of the. And I mean, our reason why I know why they cut him, because you know, too many slots and including Pycon would be a not the end of the world. I do expect him to be in potentially like a missed like movies and GT DLC at some point. Let's see if I can recover out of this. Oh, he manages to. Oh, we, we faked that then. Okay, he managed to recover back. Unfortunately for him. Uh, I'm just going to get some time to charge up. I'm going to hit him with a really big ball. He's trying to keep himself below me so he doesn't get hit by anything. Oh, am I going to get time to pull it off? No, nah, he managed to hold me just long enough so that would disappear. A bitch. Oh, he wild sense. He might dodge this. Oh, no, he's not. Thank, thank God he managed to hold in. But I think this is going to be... GG's for uh, Pycon here as he succumbs to the supernova and just if it's if it, sorry I, I always love that about this game and Raging Blast 1 if you finish them with an ultimate most likely they wouldn't even be there when the uh when the fight KO screen come pops up they just just actually die all right back to single battle here and we are kind of jumping through these quite quickly so um let's try uh, I did say I was going to use his uh Hatchiak and uh we're just going to do 1v1s and for now and then we'll do how else no one's really a potentially good fit who have i not really who didn't get a lot of love i guess one of the movie people i guess we'll do bojack we'll put him in full power uh no no we'll, we'll see if he transforms it, this is the strong ai now so hopefully they uh manage to do something i do know this game also has i definitely won't be able to show it off because i don't a don't remember the combination and b don't remember how to even do them but there are some, like, tag moves you can do. Like, I know um, Goku and Krillin have, like, the um, Krillin spirit bomb, like the transferred spirit bomb from the Saiyan Saga. There's, like, a move when Goku dies. But that's, like, the, it's, like, really weird conditions to pull off. Like, I think Bojack and Zangya have, like, the him putting Zangya in harm's way before he, before he dies to gain, like, a one-up on the opponent. I don't know if any of you have ever, um, feel free to leave in the comments below if you have. Oh, a bit of a glitch there. But, have any of you watched the, like, the original? I mean, I mean, I guess either or, because I guess in order to watch the, like, intended way, in order to watch Plan to Eradicate the Super Saiyans, you would have had to own this game. But, have any of you watched the original, uh, Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans? I only ever watched it once. Oh, he is, he is transforming. I think he's going to get an immediately punch that. Oh, yeah, I forgot the animation uh, cancels out of uh, any attack that's currently going on. But it's, it's, a, it's a neat little movie. I always like the uh, more, I guess, high quality visuals that Pandora get the Super Saiyan's going off of. Oh, we actually both go raging. Yeah, I forgot. So, like, you don't burst dash in. You don't like fly faster in raging mode. Like you just kind of like teleport. I don't think you can pull off super moves. Like you, you are locked out of supers. I'm pretty sure while you're in this mode. I just realized Bojack's only dead. I was hoping to pull off my ultimate with Hatchiak, but I guess not. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I guess not. Okay, final one. Very strong here. Um, I guess we'll do... Let's have a look at the... Uh, do we have, like, an enhanced Gogeta and Vegito? 
Let's have a little gander. No, we don't. Okay, let's do... I guess we'll save the enhanced characters for the CPU to do. Um, for now, we will just do a standard fusion off Vegito. Go, Gita. Actually, we'll do Vegito versus a super... Because we'll, after this game, both these guys vanish off the face of the earth, never to be seen again. So I guess we'll give at least one of them a, a swan song fight. Okay, jump into the last fight that I'm taking place in here. Um, I'm hoping it's an actual challenge because I, I've, just, I've just seemed to wash the other four difficulties, so I'm hoping Broly can give me some form of a uh, difficulty here. I say that as I'm already uh, basically a bar ahead of him. Oh, never mind, he seems to actually be fighting here. Get yeah, an actual challenge. That's a little back dash there. He's going to do, do the exact same. Dodge my attacks. Oh, this is the first time I think I've been lower than the opponent. Oh, he managed to uh, vanish my uh, heavy attack there and uh, punish me. I want to see if I can just quickly just get away from him very quickly and then transform into one of the best characters in the series. Not like that stupid dance guy. Will this hit? It will hit, okay. I do remember, like, because you went diagonally down, like, this isn't like Ultimate Tenkaichi where you could potentially whiff that. Like, you have more chance of actually pulling off uh, the rush attacks. Oh, actually, he died did, like, no damage. Oh, I tried, I tried to block him that then. <laughs> nice little guard break there. Let's see if we can recover out of this. Yes, we can. There we go. And then we'll follow it with a super coming here. Does it hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's see if we can finish off with the uh, grandiose final Kamehameha. Goodbye, Broly. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, I guess I wasn't really doing like any advanced stuff, but I guess on the hardest difficulty, you can get away with like basic combos. With like a like a little bit of tech, it's still kind of a pusher, but I don't remember this game being that easy. I think the previous game was a bit more difficult than that. I actually had trouble at times in the enraging Blast one, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised on how easy that was. But you know, as we do with every single thing, we'll wrap it up and I'll give us some of my final thoughts uh, in the CPU CPU fight. I guess we'll do. Uh, let's have a browse what CPU things we have to offer here. Enhanced Future Gohan vs. Hans Margin Vegeta. Okay, as we get into the final fight here, two very strong AI. Let's see uh, how they manage to do against each other. Immediately going for the block here, but yeah, this game is uh, not as quite easy than I remember, which is quite strange. I wasn't expecting it to. That much okay. Well, very quick as well. I know we're like 20 ish minutes in, but yeah, a lot of fights seem to go a lot quicker in uh, than in Raging Blast 1, even though they are fundamentally the same game. This just has a little bit more tacked on, a bit more characters and um, new mechanics like the Raging uh, mode. But yeah, I, I'm quite surprised. Oh my gosh, go on, gonna land a hit off. He's gonna go super uh, before we even get a hit off. But there we go. The hype in the Senko, I always like Future Gone because Future Gone doesn't do a lot <laughs> in the Future Trunk special. So, uh, the, the people give him like different moves in different games and whatnot. Like, Hyper Masenko is always one that's usually brought up, which, or the Super Masenko, I guess. But yeah, I remember I always used to clamor um, for this game because I always thought it was so cool. Uh, that's why I did the trade initially because I always thought, oh, this is like way better than what I had, so I, was like, I really wanted this game. I And I never, even to this day, uh, never picked it up myself on the, on the 360 or PS3. I just ran a reserve to playing it through other people. And looks like Margin Vegeta has got this one wrapped up and done with it. He is he just <laughs> pulling in the air for no reason. 
But I think I think Gohan's just uh being canonical, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Vegeta, I think, took one combo from that. <laughs> With that being said, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and a comment below. Let me know what you guys uh, think of the Raging Blast series as a whole and of the uh, two movies that I guess came along with it, Panda Ride Get the Saiyans and Super Saiyans. Yeah, join us next time for... Um, I'll just put it this way. There, well, this isn't the only <laughs> successor to the Budokai Tenkaichi series. They tried it once more. And <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll indeed get to that video. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.